Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining in today's video. So today's video is going to be about periods or menstruation, whichever word you feel comfortable with. So I have some personal tips, tricks or hacks for you to use or to try out while you are on your period. Oh, I first got my period when I was 11 years old. I got it while I was sleeping actually. So during the night, I obviously like, you know, that time you need a pee, you gotta go, go to, you know, use the bathroom or whatever. So I woke up from my sleep to go use the bathroom and I noticed um, while I'm peeing, I like look there and I noticed there's a few drops of blood and obviously I was only 11 years old and I women are like you know I don't know they quite mature for the age I was I'm very mature for my age so back then I was also quite mature so I knew about periods and everything so I was like oh gosh I was shocked actually because I thought I was only gonna get it like at the age of 13 I know that some girls actually start getting it from the age of eight or nine years old so actually um, i immediately grabbed a pad i put it on i don't know how i knew to put it on it's not that difficult actually so i just put it on and then the next morning i told my mom and i told my sister and they did not believe me so indian people i don't know you know indian people and them and traditions so they actually have a tradition for when you get your first period so they make you drink raw eggs i think they crack three eggs or something and they make you drink raw eggs and then they buy you some presents or give you money um never happened to me though because i don't know nobody believed me that i got my period but for my sister, they did do all of that for my sister. But for me, I don't know, maybe I'm not special. But yeah, it didn't happen to me. So, enough about me. My period. Because nobody cares. But anyway, um, let's get straight into the tips and tricks. So the first trick that I actually want to give out there is to the guys. I, if you're a guy and you're watching this video, you're like very lucky to hear this tip if you are a male so if you are a guy and you're living with your girlfriend or you're not living with your girlfriend and she wants to see you during her period what you can actually do to make the situation better is to actually get a period starter pack so actually i told my boyfriend to get a period starter pack and he actually wanted to go to the shop and ask the lady for an actual period starter pack um those don't exist like you can't just go to the shop and say hey do you have a period starter pack no this is something that you have to make or create so what is a period starter pack a period starter pack is simply um your girlfriend's even if, if, if it's not your girlfriend maybe you have a sister that's on her period you can also be a good brother and get this for her you know so a period starter pack is just um your girlfriend's or your sister's favorite snacks maybe some chips ice cream include some pads tampons panty liners um maybe a nice cd or a book or stuff that she likes you know just put it in there and create your own bundle of happiness. I am telling you, you can never go wrong with a period starter pack. She's automatically going to feel less moody. I mean, girls on their period can, you know, they get moody. Let's move on to the next section. So I don't use tampons. I use pads. Um, the reason why I don't use tampons is because... I actually have a very heavy flow and I'm anemic as well so it's very bad um, yeah I use pads because I feel safer it's more cleaner um, I only use a tampon if I'm on my period and 
you know we're having an important event that we have to go to and it's at a beach or you have to wear a bikini or whatever it is so that's the only time i would wear a tampon if or like i use tampons when i'm away on holiday um and we're obviously at the beach and stuff so that would be the only reason when i would use a tampon so i recommend using always pads um you can get them at clicks you can get them at discam you can get that at like almost any supermarket or whatever um i usually get the the blue pack which is the always night um it's more longer more thicker because obviously i'm on a heavy flow so for my first i bleed for about 6 days it used to be over 8 days but then i went on a pill and the reason why is because i'm anemic so to lessen the amount of blood or amount of days my doctor recommended going on to this certain pill so now i only bleed for like 6 5 days and it's a lot less the pain is a lot less like i don't know i don't understand it but that's how it is so for my first like 3 days i would use the always night pads and then you also get the pink ones um just because it's always night pads you don't really need to wait only at night i mean okay but yeah i would use that for the first 3 days and then as the the blood flow and the levels like lessen then i would use the pink ones but for me always pads is an amazing brand use i cannot use any other okay so let's move on to the next thing which is how to deal with your period pain period pains don't only come when you are actually on your period they will come before during and after it's a nightmare i know so these are my personal tips or tricks or hacks on how to deal with your period pain so first of all have a super hot shower i mean when i take a shower even when i'm not on my period i love the water to be super hot so number 1 is take a hot shower number 2 on how to deal with your period pain is do not drink any gas any cold drink coke fanta all of those stuff stay away from it um rather stick to water or fruit juice cuz it will i mean when you on your period you fart you fart a lot you really you you fart a lot i don't know there's a lot of gas going in there so don't make it worse by drinking coke and stuff like that plus you go to the toilet like a lot so stay away from gas number 3 for the period pain is a hot water bottle i i prefer to use the actual hot water bottle the one where you boil the water and put the hot water in and then close it and then but make sure you have a cover on it i mean uh, i actually heated up my skin pretty bad a lot because i want the heat and like you know you need that heat but be careful because your skin it could react to your skin so i prefer those ones because it la- the heat lasts longer in it um you can buy these electrical ones but i've been through like three electrical um hot water bottles it just it takes time to charge and the heat doesn't last long and yeah so i rather do it the old school way number 4 is pain tablets so the pain tablet i recommend to you is called aleve you can get it in the pharmacy um you can get it at your doctor um my doctor doesn't recommend uh, nurofen for period pains um yeah but you can use panado just like a pain tablet but uh certain ones you must just check with your doctor which ones that you can and cannot take but i recommend a leave you can take two and then you'll be like fine number 5 is to drink some black tea just drink some black tea i mean it will make I don't know it does something but I've tried it it makes your stomach feel a lot better so just some plain black tea you can add some sugar but no milk I don't have it with milk but try just plain black tea you can add your sugar and you'll be fine but six 
this is a weird one but i actually got this tip from a guy i know so um this was so many years ago i used to chat to this one guy um he's just a friend though just just a friend you know just a friend we met a few times but just a friend um i actually he contacted me recently okay never mind about that um he told me that uh his sister he got this tip from his sister and it actually worked um i don't know if you know deep heat or like it's like a muscle kind of rub heat rub if you don't know what deep heat is i don't know where you're from in watching this video but we have a brand called deep heat it's same like the patches but i don't recommend using patches because they are so expensive and some people you check reviews on it some people actually say they got burnt with a patch um so i was too afraid to try it but i usually use the ointment um comes in a tube kind of thing um you rub that on your stomach and place the hot water bottle over it you just lie down um it's the best thing ever actually it works the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about is um hygiene and odor so when you are on your period your your body gives off this odor and it's not a pleasant one i mean period blood it it smells like bad i mean i can't stand blood on its own when i'm on my period i just freak out even more but period blood smells and they uh, this is some um, tips that i can give you to prevent that smell because sometimes um you might not smell it on yourself but the person sitting next to you will definitely get this this mm, smell from you and uh, it's not nice you know and they won't even tell you like hey you know you you smell you smell bad you know you just going to go around smelling and it's not nice so let's move on to some tips for some odor and hygiene so tip number 1 that i will give you is do not don't 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 do not use the same pad for more the pad or tampon whichever one you're using do not use it for more than 3 hours 3 or 4 hours it doesn't matter if it's not full it's still going to smell the blood that's been there for so long it's still going to smell so please make sure you change your pad or tampon every 3 hours at least so tip number 2 is to shower twice a day shower in the morning as soon as you wake up and at night before you go to bed tip number 3 is to have clean hair make sure your hair is washed because you don't want dirty hair smell mixed with period blood smell um use the clean hair smell as a cover up to the rest of that smell so make sure you have clean hair plus it will make you feel better next step that i want to give you is very important because it also leads to your comfort to the smell to how you feel um this tip i do it um shave I need you to shave there before your period starts like you know the day before or if you get it on that day obviously it won't just come out like but you know what I'm saying you'll notice that it's coming so before or on that day just shave there make sure you clean there and also when the period has ended shave again the final tip This is important um as a lady I believe that you feel the need to carry a handbag especially 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 during your period you have to have somewhere where you can actually put your pads in because I'm sure you don't want to be that person that goes out the whole day because you don't know what time you're coming home or whatever but you need to carry some pads or tampons in your handbag carry pads or tampons carry perfume um you even get those little cute perfume boxes um if you want you can check out my instagram page on where to purchase these small 
um, perfume boxes. I mean, your handbag doesn't even need to be this. I carry handbags that are this that are this small, and I fit in pads. I fit in lotion. I fit in perfume. Everything. So those small perfume boxes, you can check out my Instagram page if you want to purchase them. I have a post on them. Um, so I said pads, um, perfume and lotion, just a small body lotion. Because when you change, you want to spray, I mean, wash your hands, you know, put lotion on your hands. Just make sure that you smell fresh, that you feel fresh, and then your period won't be such a bad period so guys these are my personal uh tips and tricks that i use i hope that you try them out and once you try them out don't be afraid to comment below whether you enjoyed it whether it really worked for you or whether it it doesn't work for you but it does work for me and so i decided to share it with you so guys thank you thank you like so much i mean i'm almost at 2000 subscribers so Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure that your notification bell is on and just keep subscribing and share my videos, you guys. You guys are awesome.